Hey everybody, uh, today we're down here at uh, Fredericksburg and once again we're just uh, taking care of some snakes and today we're doing the ever so boring uh, uh, job or task of trying to get young baby ball pythons to eat which can always be difficult. Um, I know a lot of people write into me asking uh, a couple tips to uh, get ball pythons to feed and there are a couple of them. For instance, you know, trying frozen, thawed, and then trying live, and uh, maybe even trying gerbils, or, or rubbing a, a frozen thawed mouse up against a gerbil, or uh, feeding them at nighttime. There's a whole lot of tips, or like uh, soaking them. So some of these ball pythons right here are having a little bit of difficulty feeding, so uh, the ones that are having difficulty feeding are going to have to uh, be fed a different way. But uh, this is always the most uh, boring part. But uh, yeah, so uh, we'll, we'll see what's next. So what we're doing right now is pretty simplistic and it's a pretty good idea. We have a bunch of disposable uh, plastic containers we're using for water. And so what we're doing is simply this. We open up the container. Oh, that hurt a lot. Thank you. Did you get you? <laughs> yeah, really good. That's a blooper. <laughs> But anyways, so I'm not going to go ahead and stick my hand in that one anymore because yeah, yeah. that really freaking hurt a lot. But, uh, <laughs> so what we're doing essentially is we're pouring the water out in this bucket, throwing away the container, we have a fresh new sterile container. Yeah, my hand hurts a lot. Where did it hit you? Got me good. <laughs> that was good. And so we're just going to put in fresh containers. So, what we're going to do here is, for example, I'm going to take this right out here, the dirty container, pour the dirty water in here, throw away the container, put a fresh new sterile clean container in here. And right now, I'm going to go uh, get my finger fixed because it hurts. I have an owie. I have an owie. Alright, so now that I've been bitten, and let me tell you, it hurts a lot and I hate getting bitten. We're just going to simply wash it with warm water. There we go. Now be careful though, because hot water will make it bleed a little bit more than you want it to. But bleeding is never a bad thing when it comes to a cut, because what happens is a lot of the reason the body bleeds is and to prevent infection from coming in. Say there's an infection coming in, well the blood coming out will kind of stop it, and then when it coagulates and scabs over, it makes a kind of like a protection, protectional barrier here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna clean it. Watch okay. a little bit of water. And then this soap, antibacterial soap. Now you have to, have to, have to, have to, have to clean snake bites. You must clean them because they are dirty, dirty animals. Uh, as long as their their bite is, for instance. They, you know, I don't want you to think that they're filthy animals. I'm not sure it's not fun to get bit. That was a nasty bite. Yeah. That's the guy who bit me. Thanks. Okay. Now that I've sufficiently cleaned the, the, the snake bite, uh, alcohol can be a good and bad thing. When you use alcohol, it will not only sting, but it also slows down the healing process But uh, versus um, um, hydrogen peroxide or another type of ointment. But when it comes to snake bite, I like alcohol because it's very powerful, disinfecting and cleaner. So then after I put alcohol in my hands, let it set in for a second, I'll go ahead and rinse it off again. Hey, that's a good hot one. And then go ahead and dry off. That's not a clean rag. <laughs> and then put a little band-aid on. And that's how you treat a snake bite. You're going to want to watch it and make sure it doesn't become infected. It's very important that you do that. Because uh, if you have an infection that sets in, then it's a big problem. Come on, girl. There we go. Nice shot. Yep. Simulating a natural movement or quote unquote somewhat natural type of movement always helps when it comes to feeding. Nice shot. See how it's caged to territorial? That's it. No more rat. No more Chinese buffet. 
That's Dave U. He's such a rat. Oh, God damn, look at Dave Vicious. Dave Vicious, you're such a rat. And you smell like one, too. I know, you God. smell. I think he smells kind of like an egg roll to me. <laughs> oh, look, he's got another egg roll coming out. Oh, look at him peeing. <laughs> Is that, that's like soy sauce. Oh, that's nasty. Here we go. Dave. Ah. You want to sniff your own turd, huh, Dave? <laughs> He likes the shit he talks. Yeah, I can tell. Here, Dave, right this way. If you go this way, there's candy. <laughs> oh. Damn, Dave, you talked shit to the wrong person that time. I know. Damn. Looks like all your shit talking's not gonna save you now, is it? Well, Dave, that's what you are right there. Big pile of shit. That was the head of animal control, Seth. <laughs> no, it's the head of animal control, Seth. You're all set. Yeah, they want to have a conversation with you. Yeah, and then the Delta Force, and then, you know, the DEA, and everyone you said you were talking to, Seth. Oh, they didn't like you, Seth. Oh, Seth. Poor Seth. Why? You What's like, wrong, Seth? You didn't like talking to him? Oh, but come on, go talk to him some more. <laughs> Seth, are you okay? Seth, do you need help? Bye, Seth. I guess all that trash talking finally caught up to you. Who let the dogs out? Who, who, who let the dogs out? Who, who, who let the dogs out? Who, who, who let the dogs out? Who let the dogs out? Who let the dogs out? Okay, so, uh... We're gonna go ahead and clean uh, Animan's cage now. Afterwards, and I thought it best to feed after uh, to move him after feeding, because in the feeding process, after eating two mice and holding on, especially, uh, it's a particularly good time to uh, have to mess with your snake, quote unquote, or move it around or something, because a lot of their venoms expand and expanded. Uh, so, particularly good, uh, good time to move them around. So right now, once again, we're gonna have a vat of warm water in here with some mite off in it and what we're going to do is put her him or her in here and we're going to go ahead and clean the cage out just make sure all of them if there's any mites there it's gone you, you can never be too proactive when it comes to mites even though we, we nicked the mite problem the first time around but uh, anyways whenever you have your venomous snake out if you have one you might as well take the opportunity to clean everything anyways but uh, particularly when the snakes right here on the glass it's a it's a time when you never really want to have to open the cage, but since Animan's moving away right now, I'm going to go ahead and uh, get him. This is a good time for me. Animan just ate, like I said, so a lot of that venom's expanded. expended. That doesn't mean that there's no venom left by any means. Nope. Come on, Animan. Yeah, here we go. So, we're just going to go ahead and pop this right here. And... Like that. As you can see, we're getting a lot more comfortable with Animan. So that's all there is to it.